Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another exciting brand new tutorial. So, today in this tutorial, you're going to learn some basic keyboard shortcuts of After Effects. So, let's get started. Okay guys, now we are in Adobe After Effects CS6. So, in this tutorial, we are going to learn some basic keyboard shortcuts, which are my favorite one. So, let's get started. See, I had made a title named Motion Studio. So, what are the basics? If you want to reveal the position, see here, you will click on Transform. And what is meant by P-R-A-T-S? If you press P, it will reveal the all the position keyframes. If you press S, it will reveal the scale. And if you press R, it will rotation. And if you press A, A for anchor point, and T for opacity. Okay, if you reveal all the keyframes, press U. It will reveal all the keyframes. Okay, if you want to view the altered one, press U, press U double one. It will reveal all the changes which you made to the layer. And next, press AA to reveal the 3D objects. Okay, what is L and L? If you press LL, it will reveal the all the waveforms. See, it will reveal all the waveforms. If you again press LL, it will roll back the changes. Okay, and next, what is home and end? If you press home, wait, yeah, if you press home, it will take your first layer, or sorry, it will take the first frame to the composition. If you press, if you press the end, it will get your last frame of the timeline. So press home to get the first frame and press end to get the last frame. Okay, or if you want to do manually by frame by frame, press page up and page down. See here I'm pressing page down. It will forwarding all the frames. See here and if I press page up, it will go into front. Okay, what are J and K? Wait a second. Press U to reveal all the keyframes. Okay, what are J and K? If you press J, it will get to the before frame. It will jump to the first frame. If you press K, it will go to the next keyframe. Press J and K to jump into the keyframes. See here, I'm pressing J and pressing K. And if you want the hand tool holds, if you press space bar, it will play the video. Or if you want the hold button, hold down the space and it will make the hand tool. See here, I'm pressing the space. It will get into the hand tool. Okay, and what is control plus and control minus? If you press control plus, it will zoom in and out into the composition panel. Press control plus, see here it is going to be zoom. If you press control minus, it will going to be zoomed out from your composition layer. Okay, and next, if you press only plus button without pressing control. It will zoom in the timeline. See here, I'm pressing the plus. If you pr if you press minus, it will zoom out the timeline. And see here, I'm pressing I'm pressing plus, and again minus. Okay, and the next one is V. And coming to the tool section. If you want to select the selection tool, for example, if you want to select the selection tool, press V. It will select the selection tool. And if you want the rotation tool, press W. It will rotate the screen. You can rotate it. So the shortcut of the rotation tool is W. And if you want the camera, press C. C, it will select the camera and if you press C again it will interchange the camera properties see here it is interchanging okay and next if you want to select the text press ctrl T 
wait a second I'm going to selection tool if you press ctrl T it will select the selection so again press ctrl T it will select the text tool okay and the next one is if you want to create a new solid for example create a new solid simply press ctrl plus y ctrl y it will create a new solid press ok and for example if you want to change the solid settings like resolution or color simply press ctrl shift alt y so sorry 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 wrong thing okay if you want to change the solid settings or solid name or color simply press control sorry shift control y it will again bring up the solid settings again if you want to change make it red okay so here the color is changed okay again if you want to create a new null object for example if you want to create a new null object simply delete this and the shortcut of null object is Control Shift Alt Y. It will create a new null object. Okay, and the next coming to mask. If you press M, sorry, the the rectangle tool, it will mask the. For example, select the mask tool and somewhat mask here. Okay, this layer has been masked. If you want to reveal the, all the mask properties of the layer, simply select the layer and press M to reveal all the mask path settings and if you want to reveal all the mask properties simply press M twice M and M it will reveal all the properties of the mask settings and if you want only the feather simply press F it will reveal the mask feather properties okay and what is this icon if you press wait yeah, if you press that icon, wherever you place your cursor, for example, I placed my cursor in the composition panel and pressing that icon in my keyboard, see so it will maximize the viewport. And if you want to maximize this one, simply place your cursor there and press that icon. It will maximize this, this, yeah, this, this too, and it will maximize this one, yeah. Zoom out, zoom in, zoom out, okay. So it's better to view your video in few hundred percent clarity. Okay, and if you want to wait a second, yeah, if you want to go to the beginning of the timeline, simply press B. Oh, sorry. If you want to cut out the video or if you want to change the work area shift settings, simply press B on your keyboard to get to this beginning of the timeline and simply press N to get to the end of the timeline okay B and N are going to change the settings of the timeline okay and the next if you want to decrease the layer size wait a second okay if you want to decrease the layer size for example I'm selecting the motion studio just I want to start this layer from here so what I will do I will cut my layer sorry I will split oh shit I will copy the cut down layer from here instead of doing that simply press alt plus left bracket it will cut down the chop the layer and if you press the alt plus right bracket it will chop the layer from the right side if you press Alt left from the left side, it will chop the layer from the left side. Again, uh, what are if you press Alt plus left bracket, there's the changes which I said before would, are going to be done. If you press only left bracket, it will bring the layer to the timeline, sorry, time indicator from the left side. If you press the right bracket, it will bring the layer near to the timeline from the right side. Okay, if you want to pre-compose all these things, simply press Ctrl A to select all layers. And if you want to pre-compose all these things, simply press Ctrl, Shift and C. Whoa, wait a second guys.
Okay. If you want to pre-compose all the things, simply press pre-compose. Uh, okay. If you want to change the name of the layer, for example, this layer name is Motion Studio, simply press enter on it and type there Prepared effects. Yeah. See, this will change the name of the layer. And then next, if you wait, I will reveal all the keyframes properties by pressing U. Okay, if you wanna compress, if you want to compress all these keyframes, uh, for example, select all the keyframes. Oh, wait. Yeah, select all the keyframes, and if you wanna compress all them, simply hold down Alt and left click. See, it will compress all the keyframes and it will maximize and minimize the work area sheet. So, by pressing an Alt and moving the mouse, it will compress all the keyframes. Okay, guys, and the project, these are my shortcuts of After, keyboard shortcuts of After Effects. Okay, if you want to save your project, simply press Ctrl S, it will save the project. And for example, if you've done a mistake or wait a second, uh, for example, move, move this title to here. Move this title to here. Sorry, you have done a mistake. So press Ctrl Z to undo the changes. See, if I press Ctrl Z, it will undo the changes. Or if you want to redo the changes, if you want to roll back the again, if you want to redo the changes, press Ctrl Shift Z. Yeah, it will redo the changes. Okay, and next, if you want to duplicate the layer, for example, here Birth Effects is only the title layer. If you want to create another name with Birth Effects, simply press Ctrl D to duplicate. Mm, yeah, there are two texts. If you press again Ctrl plus D, it will duplicate the layer. Okay, and if you want to split the layer, for example, here in two seconds, if you want to split this layer, simply press Ctrl Shift D. It will split the layer. I think you understood clearly. If you split the layer, if you want to split the layer, simply press Ctrl Shift D. Ctrl Shift D. Yeah, it's split it. I'm rolling back the um Undoing the changes by pressing Ctrl Z. Yeah, okay. If you want to render these things, simply press Composition at Render Queue. But instead of that, I use a shortcut. I will show it to you right now. Simply press Ctrl M it to go to the Render Queue. Again, I'm saying simply press Ctrl plus M to get to the Render Queue option to render your project. Okay guys, anyway, I hope you enjoyed and learned something from my tutorial. Anyway, my name is Bharat Kumar from Motion Studio. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to be get updated. Until then, see you later.